My wife coaches a softball team and they need some tags for their bags. She asked if I could 3D print some cool tags that have names and numbers on them for the players. I said, I think I can do it. Let's see if I can do it. I'm Joel, this is 3D Printing Nerd. This episode of 3D Printing Nerd is sponsored by Matter Hackers. We're in Photoshop right now because I just want to draw a general shape. Boy, I'm really good at circles. So the idea is it would be, uh, I think, a circle. It'd have, this is terrible, a border circle. Um, it would have a number, so we'll just do, a, there's a number. And then the name of the team is the Rage. So we will do something like this. Oh, sure. Oh, that looks great. That looks fantastic. And also, uh, the little silver key ring kind of ringlets that go in. The idea is to connect one up here. So maybe we put a hole right there. There it is. That's our design. Hey, don't judge me. Let's bring in this. Let's load up Fusion 360 and let's do it the right way. All right, we're in Fusion. Uh, I'm gonna go sketch, create sketch, and I'm gonna say, that's my ground plane. I'm gonna hit C for circle. And I know uh, the circle, she wants it to be around three inches in diameter. I'm gonna say 75 millimeters. Easy enough right there. Uh, I think that I'm gonna select this circle. I'm gonna hit O for offset. And then I am going to say a minus two millimeter offset, which gives us this outer ring that we were looking for. All right now under sketch, I'm gonna choose text. That's right, text. I'm gonna type right here and let's just do, let's do the number I talked about, 25. And then let's maybe make it 40 millimeters. That might be too big. Um, let's bring it down. Let's do, let's do 30. 30 seems too small, doesn't it? Maybe 35? Let's do 40. What the heck? You know, I started bringing it smaller and then I'm like, no, no, no. I mean, it needs to be visible. We need to be able to see it. There, that looks great. And now we need to do the name of the team, which is the Rage. We'll go R-A-G-E. We'll make it, you know what? I'm gonna make it bold. There we go. And then maybe, maybe do 25 there. Oh, it's too big. Oh, that's too big. Maybe 20? Uh, 20 still see? Yeah, 20 is too big. Let's try 15. Um, let's do 20. <laughs> sure, there we go. We've got the name of the team. We have the number, we have the border. Oh, we need to do the little, um, little keyhole at the top. So let's zoom in right there. I'm gonna hit C for circle. I'm gonna put it right here, bring it out, and I'm gonna hit five for five millimeters. There we go. I'm gonna grab the center. I'm gonna bring it down right here where the circle is intersecting right here. So now uh, I believe I can hit L for line. I'm gonna grab it right here. And I'm gonna go just straight up to here. I'm going to do the same right here and go up. Ooh, 90 degrees, right? Ni 90 degrees, 90 degrees. 90, there we go, 90 degrees. So now we have the idea being, oh, let's zoom out a bit, Joel. There it is. The idea being we want this section right here to be the inside section and this section to be the outside. Because if we had, if we had done this and had these parts included, this tiny little part here and the tiny little part here wouldn't have been easy for an FDM printer or it would have been something that got knocked off easily. So there's our bag tag. Now what we need to do is extrude it and make it, uh, make it dual color, dual color. First, let's take this I'm gonna hit E and I'm gonna go one millimeter. Nothing big. That looks nice. That looks nice. Let's go over to sketches here. Let's turn the sketch back on. And 
I'm going to then choose, let's see, this. I'm gonna hit E for extrude, I'm gonna hit one. But over here, instead of join, I'm gonna choose new body. So now they're separate. Okay, one last thing. Now I need to choose the, the uh, sketches for the, the letters, or the numbers. The letters and the numbers. I knew I would pick that. Uh, let's see, I can choose. Is that it? Okay, good. And then that one as well. So what I did is I hit E for extrude and then I clicked on the rage. I clicked on the 25 and that seemed to select it. I couldn't tell whether it was selected or not because the text is blue. That seemed to work. What I'm gonna do is do a cut. So I, I selected these, I did E for extrude, I moved the arrow up, and then uh, operation is cut. That's what I want. Oh, there we go. Now one last time, I'm gonna hit E for extrude, I'm gonna pick this, I'm gonna hold down shift, I'm gonna pick this, and I'm gonna hit one. And then I'm going to choose new body. There we go. <laughs> That's it, we've literally, just made it, just made it. So what I can do here, unselect these. Okay, so here it is, let's turn off the sketch. And then we need to pick which things we want to be the same color. So we want the letters and the numbers to be the same color. And we want the ring around the outside to be one color. So what I wanna do is save this off as an STL. I'm gonna go up here to where the unsaved component is. I'm gonna hit the right mouse button. And I'm gonna do save as STL. And then I'll hit okay, that'll save it off as an STL. And you can name it like, well here I'll show you. I, start, I made all of these, so I named them as the number dash and the color I wanted. So it just so happens, hey, why not? We don't have a 25 yet. Let's save it off. So we'll do 25 dash, and this we want to be orange. Orange. Well, now we know everything that isn't orange, we want to be gray. So we just go here and we just click each one because if it's off, it'll be on. And if it's on, it'll be off. Now we go back to unsaved. We hit the right mouse button, save as an STL. Make sure it's binary, one file refinement. You're not sending it to a utility. Hit okay. And now I can do 25 dash silver. Silver. Pretty cool, right? Oh, but wait, what? But Joel, you have to do all these steps for all these numbers. No, no, you don't. Go over to the sketch here, turn it on. Hit the right mouse button, say edit sketch. Go over to the text. For the number, hit the right mouse button. Hit edit text, and then change it up here. What if we want it to be 32? And I'm gonna hit okay. I'm gonna hit stop sketch. Fusion propagates all of those changes through the history, and so you have yourself something that looks just like this. Now you may be thinking, well, wait a minute. What if what if it's not a double number? What if it's a single number? So what if instead of this, it's the number eight? Well, in that case, what you wanna do is put in the eight, use this to move it, just like that. Hit okay, hit stop sketch, fusion figures it out. So when I turn off the sketch, we have that. Well, we saved off the 25. Let me show you how I printed it. So now I've brought up Prusa Edition Slicer because I'm gonna use the Prusa Edition Multi-Material Unit. So I've got orange in Extruder 1 and I've got silver in Extruder 2. I'm gonna hit Add. I'm gonna to go to 25. I'm gonna click on 25 orange, hold down Control, click 25 silver, hit Open. It's gonna say multiple objects were loaded. Should I consider these files to represent a single object having multiple parts? Yes, you should. There we go, oops, that looks good. Now we need to assign the different STLs within this part different colors. So double click the name and it brings up this object. So we've got the orange and the silver. So orange, as we know, is extruder one. Silver, we know, 
is extruder 2. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to hit slice. Once it's done, I'm going to go to preview. And there we go. There we go. That is our bag tag right there. You can see the purge block. You can see the number, the name, the silver, the orange. Here's the little filament that comes out when it's priming the nozzle. Uh, the build plate looks great. And here's what's great too. I could stack multiple of these on there, do the same thing, and then the purge block won't change, but we'll be able to get more models in. And that's, well, that's what I did. I loaded five models per build plate and there were two build plates worth because I had to do, I think, 10 tags, but uh, the Prusa machine printed them phenomenally well. I sanded the PEI just a little bit to kind of give it some extra stick and man, it is like a plastic tractor beam. I used MH Build Orange and MH Build Silver and they were working great. I did 215 on the nozzle, I think it was 55 or 60C on the bed, uh, 0.2 layers, one millimeter tall, five layers, everything's gonna be just solid plastic but they turned out great. And I mean, look at these things. Here's, here they are. <laughs> this is good. Look at, there's the eight. We talked about that. Here's, and here's 13. And here's an upside down zero. I really, really like this. So uh, the, the part right here where the key, the key uh, ring, key ring is gonna go through right here. Uh, it turned out, Turned out great. I like how that orange is just kind of holding on. And one of the things, I mean, look, look, it's got some give to it. So PLA is kind of brittle, but if it's thin enough, you get some flex to it. And being that these are gonna be on sports bags, which we all know are treated with the utmost care and respect, should work just fine. But let's say something does break, snap, whatever. These are 3D printed. Again, five on a plate took two hours. So I could easily, easily reprint these. And it's just a few cents worth of plastic and it turned out great. I love these. There we go. I hope I was able to teach you something cool and I hope you were inspired to make something cool and I hope we had a little fun along the way. You know what, if you wanna support what we do on the channel, there are all sorts of links down there. If you could click any one of these, that would really be a benefit. In fact, go click one, just go click one, click one. Click one right now, click. Subscribe if you're not and ring that bell to be notified of when cool stuff like this is uploaded to the channel and Beyond all that, don't forget to hug each other more, because I love you guys. As always, high five.